Ford recently announced the 2022 Bronco Raptor. In this video, we're going to be taking a closer look and I'm going to give you my thoughts on it. All right, so on September 21st, Ford shared this video. The first thing we see is the Bronco logo. When the logo spins away, we see the front end of the Bronco Raptor. Look at those extra wide fender flares. The Raptor is going to have a very wide stance with 35 inch tires being standard. And for those that really want the biggest and baddest Bronco, there's gonna be an option for 37 inch tires. Now you can see they did the same thing for the F-150 Raptor and it makes a huge difference. Now notice these headlights. These are gonna be exclusive to the Bronco Raptor. They are not the same as the regular Bronco. The Raptor has these amber DRLs, which really set it apart from the rest of the lineup. Now moving along, the video shows the entire front grille. And there it is, folks. Ford, spelled out in big, bold letters. Earlier this year, we discussed the Bronco Warthog. That's what we thought this vehicle was going to be called. But as it turns out, Ford ultimately went with Raptor. They wanted to stick with the nameplate that was familiar with people. Now, I, I think it's kind of a missed opportunity. The Warthog name, it just evokes excitement about the Bronco brand, but apparently Ford doesn't see it that way. But at the end of the day, the name really doesn't matter. What does matter is the performance. And there's no doubt this is going to be a top of the line performer. Now looking towards the top of the grill, you're gonna see three distinct amber lights. Understand, these lights are required when a vehicle is over 80 inches wide. This is just mind-boggling to me because I drove a Sasquatch Bronco. It is plenty big as is, and yet they're gonna make one even bigger. Now there's a really important detail that needs to be mentioned. The fenders on the Raptor appear to be squared off, which is in direct contrast to the regular Bronco's round fenders. This completely changes the look of the vehicle. To give you a better idea, here is a concept model that Ford released last year. It features the squared off fenders, and you know, I think it looks a lot better. Now let's look at the rear taillight. Those are definitely exclusive to the Raptor. Now, it's great that Ford has finally acknowledged the Bronco Raptor's existence, but there's still questions about what it will have to offer. So to find out what Ford has in store, I did some research. Somebody managed to find out that the Bronco Raptor was listed in Ford's ordering system. Here is what they found out. There's going to be two different levels of Raptor, 373A and a luxury package 374A. The luxury package will include wireless phone charging, adaptive cruise control, voice navigation, premium audio system, and even a heated steering wheel. It was also discovered an exclusive color will be available, code orange. And as it turns out, that is the same color shown in the video. Now I know what you're all thinking, what about the powertrain? That is the most important feature of all. It's being reported that the Bronco Raptor will use a twin turbocharged three liter EcoBoost. In the Explorer, it makes 400 horsepower and 415 pound feet of torque. Now, many people refuse to believe that Ford would release a Halo Bronco model making less power than the V8 Wrangler. Because of this, it's speculated that Ford may use the 3.5 liter EcoBoost found in the F-150 Raptor. But even if they went this route, it still doesn't make more horsepower than the V8 Wrangler, but it does have substantially more torque. There's also talks of a hybrid Bronco Raptor. Ford could put the hybrid system they use in the Lincoln Aviator into a Bronco. If this were to happen, we could expect 494 horsepower and get this, 630 pound-feet of torque. That would be so cool, but here's the problem. A hybrid system would add a considerable amount of weight, making this an unlikely option. And it's not looking good for the 3.5 liter. This is the engine I originally thought they would go with, but reports are saying it is too large for the Bronco's chassis. So what can we make of this information? Well, it's most likely that Ford will go with the three liter turbocharged V6, and they're gonna have to crank more power out of it if they wanna compete with the Wrangler. Raptor would have to make an additional 70 horsepower to match the Wrangler V8. And once again, why would Ford spend all of this time and energy developing a top of the line Bronco and not make it more powerful than the Jeep V8? I will be shocked if the Bronco Raptor does not make more power. Now Ford has reported they're gonna give more information out in the coming weeks. And who knows, maybe these engine reports are completely wrong and Ford is gonna blow us away. I hope that's the case. If you're new to the channel, be sure to stay tuned for future updates.